chaotic player brainless doesn't have doesn't have much you know ability to think and make judgments <laughs> but, but i have absolutely no idea why the thanks are so i mean i get arsenal's urge to rescue players but chelsea don't need to rescue players like they have a lot of players that need to be rescuing within the squad like rescue them first What's going to happen with Chelsea? Realistic, realistically, <laughs> let's not. Okay, I know you guys would probably want to touch upon the off the field issues. Maybe go about that. But uh, who are going to be there? I mean, now that they have a set squad for three months, and I'm going to say just for three months because we know that a lot of these players will be made redundant in January, and then 50 more players will be bought in January. So all of that is going to happen. Yeah, but for next three months, they have a set of players. Who do you think will be the main guys who can take Chelsea to you know maybe that European spot? I'm not saying top four. They can do top four. They have the quality. but they can also do 7th 8th whatever whatever the european squad is but who do you think would be the players yeah it's i don't know i don't know uh, i think obviously ob- obviously cole palmer to start with yeah he looks pretty solid in this season as well so far i haven't seen the latest game but like the first two games he's definitely been quite good and i think they have a lot of wingers and it's really difficult to judge yeah. it's just been three games so right now so some medueke i think was looking Dude, good medueke is is good i think medueke is is like slightly better he's got a hat trick right in the last yeah, game yeah he's he's like a yeah yeah, yeah. He, he's like a slightly better darwin nunes in terms of his finishing right <laughs> is literally that chaotic player brainless doesn't have he doesn't have much you know ability to think and make judgments <laughs> but, but but he will do it <laughs> he will do it in like one of three games he will do it right and then he will celebrate and then he'll come back and fight for the penalty after you know whatever the things that's going on in his head but he's again one of those players who can be probably Maresta will trust i think they have nato i think jo- uh, petro nato is is going to be a good signing for them if he can stay fit i have actually is no sancho idea. in is sancho in yeah that was that's that's who was going to so, come to i have no what idea is, why. why but why are they going for more wingers i don't understand it's like, it's a fetish who they have in It's a fetish. It's it's it just <laughs> Poli wants that. Poli wants that. No, uh, I mean, I mean, this guy has been. This guy has been very clear, right? Like he just trains with thirteen, no, what twenty players, something like that, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone else is just training elsewhere. I don't know what he said. He said something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. He said that we have we have a bomb squad that is completely separate from from the players that <laughs> I train. train with i don't talk to them i don't care about them they can do whatever they want and uh, that's what it and he just ended everything over there in the press conference so they they But, do they have a they have like a farming <laughs> operation going on right now yeah 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 basically they are like yeah we'll do we'll, dude i have i have absolutely no idea why the thanks are so I mean I get Arsenal's urge to rescue players but Chelsea don't need to rescue players like they have a lot of players that need to be rescuing within the squad like rescue them first so I don't know why they they signed Sancho I don't know where he's going to play they have Modric who should be given a special prize for fooling people into thinking that he's a for football player because he's not he's 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 just a he's just a boy from Ukraine who's running away from all the bad things that are happening there he's literally just that and I have I I genuinely feel bad or feel grateful that we didn't sign Modric because I think Arteta would have been sad. I I think if you go to uh, Chelsea right now, right, it's going to be like if you be, if you became a Chelsea player, it's going to be like back to school kind of vibes where when yeah. you get there, everybody has to stand in a line. Yeah. <laughs> Who's present? There's <laughs> so many people. <laughs> did you? Did you I think there's going to be like. Uh, high school politics like going on in the cafeteria like there's just so yeah. many people like any anything you can think of it'll be it'll happen like just based on probability yeah yeah I'm, i think and, there's bullying going around who yeah. knows <laughs> what's happening Dude, I, <laughs> have you seen I the can, scenes from the gym <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah i was going to say that <laughs> I think I can I can envision Cole Cole Palmer literally bullying Madueke like for some reason or like people just you know coming and hitting hitting Modric on his head just because for the sake of it like it definitely happened you know but one player one player I really want to point out is uh, Nicholas Jackson dude I think uh, he's not going to world class he's not going to be a world class player I don't think he has that level of uh, things in it but I think he's going to be a really good functional player I think he obviously he's a bad finisher but I think he brings a lot to the to the team in terms of his hold up play I, I think I think with people. everything going on in Chelsea, Nicholas Jackson is somebody who actually got highlighted last year. Like yeah. so, and of course now we have to see if he's going to improve or not because. I think he seemed like somebody who was motivated, who didn't yeah. get lost in the chaos. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. this was something that was spoken about. I think Drogba came and said something about this guy. So 
at least like there is a spotlight on him so maybe there is an incentive that i have to do something like the rest of the people who's just there in the background so i think this season is going to be the make it or break it season for this guy no, for, I, for, I, I, i thought the same with nikhil sat i thought like okay first season he told no seal this and then i mean maybe the season is going to be really good but the fact that he tweeted a bird john of the looker the first time the first thing he scored in that six zero win or something the second time Hmm. No reasoning whatsoever. He just wants to tweet about them. And the thing is, this is, this is where it will tell me that the player, their brain is not in the right place. They are so obsessed with hmm. the external things. I mean, dude, if you really want to apply yourself, you really want to prove yourself, just set up and do whatever it is, and then you just work here and read something, say something. You scored one goal, man, in a 6-0 win. And that's the first thing that comes in your mind. I mean, This is the problem I have with Nunez as well in general. In terms of general application of things, I guess I, I don't know. Yeah, in terms of that, good for him. I think it's just, it's just lack of maturity and lack of leadership within the trust group. Like I think they feed off of negativity <clears throat> from the media and they then project it outwards, and which is no, really if, a big problem. No, if 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 you can uh, weaponize it, there is nothing wrong in that. Other players have done that in the past and succeeded in like going yeah. ahead in their careers by doing that. So you if you can successfully weaponize it, like utilize it to your own benefit. That's fine. Yeah. Instead of being, think, you know, like drowned out big, by it. No, no, hundred percent. I think the biggest problem is projecting it outwards later. I think that's that's mm. where the problem comes. I think if you can use it as a us versus them mentality or us versus against the world mentality, and then channelize to perform and let your performances speak, then it's great. But I think the problem comes when you start uh, dishing out comments on Instagram, calling out people because I mean it's a funny world, right? You will end up messing up once or twice, and then those people will get a chance to come back at you, and then you're just basically feeding to the to the this media narrative wheel that keeps on going so i think that might just be their downfall but to be honest they have the really good players and if they can pull things together i think they they can definitely finish in europe if not better yeah i think that's yeah, the very last thing i mean we we thought it was we thought they were just kind of this joke of squad with party team and everything but i think they do they were they massively underperformed their xg over the course of season yeah. i think they to finish like fifth or something they would have been in the quality i think they should go for consistency and stability this year yeah. Yeah. they should go for consistency and stability not reach for the stars they should know their place and at least try to finish in the top 8 but with a consistent like less chaotic season then they can maybe try to do something next year yeah, know like their should, place and then they finish should, in top 8 they should eight. know their place <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I was actually expecting when you said know their know their place. I'm like I thought maybe top five or something because top five they keep on losing. 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 They keep on losing.